Love Center News, keeping you informed on what's happening this week in your ministry. Thank you for coming to the Love Center. It is our prayer that today's worship experience will be precise, real, and clear. Welcome home. Water baptism will be a part of the 1045 worship celebration on next Sunday. Please see an elder or minister for more information if you would like to be baptized. Be a part of the Love Center's commitment to prayer on Tuesday mornings at 6 a.m. During this time, we seek God concerning the blessing of our families, our ministry, the nation, and the world. Strengthen your relationship with the Word of God through Bible study at the Love Center on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. at Love Center Atlanta, Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. at Love Center South, and again on Saturdays at 10 a.m. at Love Center Atlanta. Parents, on Wednesday nights, please bring your children for a special session with Austin Broussard about money and the world around them. Right? Everybody has the same 24 hours. So when I say choose your heart, all I'm saying is something is going to be hard about what you do. I promise you, there is going to be something hard about what you, whatever you choose to do. Whether you choose to be a hairdresser, or whether you choose to be a doctor, whether you choose to be a software engineer, or whether you choose to be a trash man. Something's going to be hard about it. So you get to choose what level of hard you want to work on so that you know, hey, I'm living and my sacrifice is worth it. The Love Center Cafe is the place to get great food and experience good fellowship here at the Love Center. It is open and available on Sundays after the 745 worship celebration. Come, enjoy the food, and bless the ministry. Be an active part of the worship, work, and witness of the Love Center. You can also share our ministry through social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as we seek to take this love to the whole world. This has been Love Center News, keeping you informed. There are no major white characters in your books. No. Tony Morrison was born Chloe Anthony Wofford in Lorain, Ohio, not far from Cleveland. It was the Depression. Her father was a ship welder, her mother a housewife. The neighborhood was mixed and sometimes hostile. People set our house on fire uh, to evict us. When, we were, when I was about two years old. Set the house on fire? While we were in it. <laughs> Why? So we wouldn't be there, so we would leave. The black narrative has always been understood to be a confrontation with some white people. I I'm sure there are many of them. They are not terribly interesting to me. What is interesting to me is what is going on within the community. And within the community, there are no major white players. Once I thought, what is life like if they weren't there? Which is the way we lived it. 
the way I lived it. Does your writing have a political point of view? Oh, oh yeah. The truth I happen to be most interested in has to do with the nature of oppression and how people survive it or don't. It's amazing to me, particularly for African Americans, just amazing that we're not all dead. That's a constant shocker when you know somebody's raised, what do you know? Virtually nothing. You add to it all the stereotypical information and all the baggage that goes with race, but you don't know anything about that person just because you know race. Nobody who liked to party be like, oh, Lord, it's Friday. Oh, I hate it. It's Friday. I guess I go to the club. Man, I guess I have a drink. You got some weed? Oh, I guess we got to get high. Maybe we even have to have sex. Man, you mean tell me they still got a cover charge at this club? You got to pay to get in there every time you come? Oh, all they want is your money. The drinks ain't free. Eight dollars? Eight dollars for this much vodka? Y'all ain't gonna put no extra vodka in here? Oh, well. Give me two. So, I don't care if y'all get mad at me when I be pounding on that mess. Because until the light bulb come on with the saints, who gonna fight for us? 